At this Suez environment waste sorting site, we receive mixed construction and demolition waste. At the moment, our material recovery rate is about 90%. I believe this is the first site using several robots for waste sorting. We have been running since spring 2014. In fact, the whole line was designed around the robots. The incoming waste is screened and stored in a bunker feeder, and this enables a continuous flow of waste into the robot. The robots do not require a sorting cabin, no air conditioning. They won't complain of hot or cold as it is currently, and they will work relentlessly. The robots are running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They will be there late on Friday evening picking. They will be still picking on Sunday and continue Monday morning without stops. And a typical system with one sensor box and two robot arms consumes only 12 to 14 kilowatts of energy. This gives us quite a low operational cost. A typical system with uh, two robot arms has a maximum picking speed of 4,000 picks per hour. I believe that in the near future we can reach material recovery rate up to 95%. The next generation Centro Robotics Recycler has a working area of 2 by 2 meters. The robotic sorting system can sort wood, stone and metals. Wood can be sorted furthermore in subfractions, A wood and B wood separately. It will also pick non-ferrous metals like copper, aluminium, stainless. And with a software update, the machine can also pick rigid plastics. You can have it picking cardboard, you name it.